Bats need our help, and lucky for us, there is a hero named Dr. Merlin Tuttle. See, I told you, that's his name right there. No, Jerry, he's not holding an invisible baby. It's too big to be an invisible baby. Whatever it is, he's massaging it. Dr. Tuttle has devoted his life to saving bats. And look, he's doing it right now, going right into the crotch of that tree. And trust me, that tree is honored to have Merlin Tuttle climb into its crevice. And you would be too. You know the origin story of Batman, where the little boy pees his pants because he gets stuck in the middle of some bats flying around? Well, that actually happened to Merlin when he was a boy. Not the pee part, but the part with the bats. And you know what? He wasn't scared. He loved it. And that's why one is a pretend and the other one is a real-life freaking hero. Here's the deal. These cute little bastards want you to give Merlin your money by donating to the Merlin Tuttle Bat Conservation. And right now, for every dollar that you give, you will have given a dollar, and that's a promise. You know that bridge in Austin, Texas that every single person who's ever been to Austin, Texas tells you about? The one with the bats. Yeah, that's Merlin Tuttle. I mean, he's not the bridge, but I'm saying it's there because of Merlin Tuttle. Not the bridge. It's again, not the bridge. The bats. They were going to kill those bats, but Merlin Tuttle showed them not to be afraid. He's good at that. He has a philosophy called winning friends, not battles. And he's not even a hippie. He's serious about it, too. In American Samoa, he made friends with the hunters who were shooting all the fruit bats into extinction. The bullshit Batman would have tried to beat them all up and thrown bat-shaped paraphernalia at them. But Merlin Tuttle made friends, which is hard to do with someone who's killing the things you love. Those hunters became his allies, and they gave up hunting those bats, and they helped him establish a whole national park there. But wait, sorry, but wait, there's more. Check this out. The year is 1981. Merlin Tuttle's mustache is already in full blossom. Jerry, you got another angle on that stash? Oh, that's good. Look at him, he knows it too. Anyway, Merlin's in Thailand helping some Buddhist monks with their bat poop problem. The poop from insect-eating bats is like gold if gold were made out of bat poop. It even has its own name, guano, which is cooler than my poop's name, Theodore. Guano can be sold as fertilizer, which is how the monks made money. But each year there was less of it. I know what you're thinking. If the bats hang upside down, how do they poop without a full body skid mark? Do they do a little sit up? Or is it more of a one foot hang? I don't know, but you know who does? Dr. Merlin Tuttle. Anyway, Merlin discovers a poacher who put up a giant net in front of the bat cave. And you know what Merlin Tuttle did. He made friends with him. Turned out to be someone trying to make a buck for his family. Merlin wanted to understand the bigger economic picture. The poachers wanted these fruit bats, which they sold to restaurants. But fruit bats are major pollinators of durian. That's the fruit with the tagline, tastes great but smells like sh**. It's like a billion dollar industry, you don't want to screw with that. But the nets were also trapping these bats, the bats who have the butt from which the poop come. Not only do these bats produce guano, they also eat tons of insects that are a threat to local farmers. Based on all this, Merlin convinced the monks to hire a full-time game warden to protect the cave. And in just a few years, that created an economic benefit for the monks, the farmers, not so much the poachers, but there were new jobs because the tourists showed up to watch the recovered bats fly out of their caves in beautiful plumes. Merlin doesn't just help bats, he helps people too. Bats are not only so cute, they are ecologically invaluable for pest control, fertilization, and as pollinators. Do you like tequila? Well, bats are the natural pollinators of the agave. They get their tongues all up in there. That's why the next morning it feels like you've been face by a bat. Please consider supporting Merlin Tuttle's bat conservation. Bat populations are in decline. Some are being slaughtered by the millions. Merlin Tuttle is genuinely a hero, not just for bats, but for people. With your help, he can help. Go to MerlinTuttle.org. Look at or purchase one of his incredible photographs and become a member of the Merlin Tuttle Bat Conservation. Jenny, they're just letting him wander off like that into the woods? Well, somebody should go after him. He's a, he's a national treasure. I just spent the whole episode hyping him up, and now he's lost in the forest. I'm telling you, I'm not kidding. Another eighth of an inch, and I wouldn't have gotten through that hole. Merlin Tuttle, he likes the bats.